If you're not familiar with the Tinder mobile app, I'll fill you in. You create a profile and the app shows you pictures of other users who are geographically close to you. If the person's picture doesn't do anything for you, you swipe left. But if you like what you see, you swipe right. If you swipe right on someone and she or he swipes right on your profile, you can send each other messages to get things started. But what if you have a particular type? Like, say I'm a single guy looking for a woman with Lord of the Rings tattoos, red hair worn in a pixie cut, and green eyes. Well, that's pretty specific, and Tinder's likely to send me a lot of pictures that don't interest me. So in my case, I'd be swiping left a lot. That gets tiresome. Enter computer scientist Harm DeFries, who experienced a similar issue while trying to find a good match on Tinder. He's a DIY kind of guy and decided it might make sense to develop an artificially intelligent machine learning program that could help curate profiles more to his personal taste. DeFries supplied his program with more than 7,000 profile pictures to train it on his preferences, and then another couple thousand to test it, but as it turns out, the rules of attraction require a bit more data than a sample of less than 10,000. He then turned the tech up to 11 by supplying 500,000 photos of both men and women from OkCupid. This helped him teach the program to recognize everything from gender to various physical traits like hair color. Putting it to the test, DeFries discovered the program had a 68% success rate in curating pictures he'd find appealing, which he views as a good start. As a sort of control, DeFries asked a friend who knows his preferences to try sorting a random sample, and they only did a little better, a 76% success rate. So, what does this mean for Tinder? The company could incorporate a program like this into its premium service to create another incentive for people to subscribe rather than using the free version. And beyond Tinder, software like this could be used with tons of services to cater more to the individual user's preferences. Well, that's it for today. Do you think AI selecting profiles for you is cool or creepy? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that little like button to let us know. And to keep up with all the cool stuff that's happening right now, please subscribe.